So in this video, I'll show you how to trace a uh, input in a non-deterministic Turing machine. So let's say that we have this input, A, C, A, B. So what would be um, the steps that we would take to trace the uh, non-deterministic Turing machine? So we, so for this tracing, it's going to be a tree. Um, so we start with the uh, start configuration, which is the uh, start state. Of course, we know the start state from here. This is the start state. And then we have the input string uh, immediately after it, which means that um, the pointer of the Turing machine is now on A. So what will happen is that we will read A and we are at Q0. So we're at Q0 and we read A. So what will happen is that we will replace A with A and move to the right. So it's going to be A, Q1, C, A, B. So that is um, the second nod in the tree. Okay, so now after that we are now at Q1. So what will happen right now is that we have three options to go to because we have Q1 and we are at C. So C at Q1 has three different transitions. So we will have to move into three different transitions. And the first transition would uh, read C and replace it with C and move to the right, but we'll stay at Q1. So we'll say A, C, Q1, A, B. And the next one moves to Q2 and does the same thing. Read C, replaces it with C. So this one moves to Q2, but reads C and replaces it with C and moves the pointer to the right. So that's going to be A and replaces C with C and moves the pointer from here to here. So it's going to be Q2 because it moves to Q2. And then we have a, B. Now the next one uh, moves the pointer to the left and replaces C with C. So we have the pointer is um, the pointer is here. And so if the pointer moves to the left, it's going to go back to the beginning. And so it's going to be <clears throat> uh, it's going to be Q. Uh, this one moves from Q1 to Q5, so it's going to be uh, Q5 um, and then A, C, A, B. Okay, so this is the, uh, 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 this is this uh, transition. Okay, so now we have, we're here, here, and here. So Q1 um, also reads um, A, and go back to Q1. And um, so what, what we're going to do here is we're going to move this one. So this moves to the right. So we have AC, replaces A with A. So we have here A, replaces A with A, and moves to the right. So we're going to replace A with A, and we're going to move the pointer Q1 to here. So it's going to be Q1B. And we can finish this one by, um, uh, again, reading B, replacing it with B, and then moving to the right. Because we have Q1, the pointer is at B. So we read B, we replace it with B, and we move the pointer here. And when we move the point to the right, it goes back to Q1. So the result would be A, C, A, B, Q1. And here we have an empty string. And there is nothing for uh, the empty string. 
that. So this one um, dies. Okay, so now let's explore um, this option. So we are at Q2, and now we have A. We'll read A. It's going to move to the right, and Q, and the state is going to turn to Q3. So we have A, C, and A is replaced with A, and we move to the right, and it goes to Q3, B. So this would uh, look like this. And then we're at Q3, right? And we read B with B and move to the right and then go to Q4. So this is going to go here and it's going to say A, C, A. So it moves to the right. So B and B is replaced with B and then it moves to Q4. And basically this is an accept configuration. Okay, so now we go to this one which is we're at Q5 and we read A and there's no transition for A so this one dies um, here and so this is the uh, tracing for um, or how to uh, trace a, a non-deterministic uh, Turing machine